Have you ever come across a situation where building an online store using WooCommerce where you need to add in additional options on your products? Let's say, for example, you're a florist and you're selling flowers and you'd like to have an input field where the user can put in a message that'll be included in the card. Out of the box, WooCommerce can't do that. Well, today I'm going to show you a free plugin that allows you to do that and a whole lot more. So if this interests you, stick around and follow along with me and see exactly how we can start using this free plugin. Okay, so I've got a site open in front of me, and as you can see, if we take a look at a product, we've got a very bare bones layout. We've got a simple set of options that allow us to choose from a very old product. We can add in some different things on there, but that's all we've got. And I need to add in a couple of additional fields. So the plugin we're going to take a look at jump over to the dashboard, is WooCommerce Custom Product Add-ons. Now this is the free version, like I said at the top of this video, there is a premium version that adds some extra options in there. I'll put the link in the description so if you wanna check that out. However, we are just gonna focus on the free version. Okay, so how does it work? It's very, very simple. If we come into the Create Forms option, what it allows us to do is create our custom forms that'll be included as part of WooCommerce, as part of a product. So let's go through and do that. Let's say, add a new form, and once we're in there, we can now give it a name and we can choose from various different options on where we want to apply this. So let's just say we're going to call this default floral options. So we've got a title in there. If you take a look then, we've got this build your form area and we've got a range of different check type boxes we can use on the right hand side. So text fields, text area and so on. We'll take a look at that in a moment. We've also got then on the right hand side product categories. Now what that allows us to do is easily choose where we want this custom form, these custom fields to be applied to. You may want to apply it on every single category throughout your entire site. You may also only want to apply it to certain categories. For us, we're going to apply it to everything other than uncategorized because we're not using that. So we say bouquets, tributes and sympathy. So now we've done that, we can start creating the actual form layouts. So the first thing we're going to do is put in a text area. So we're going to simply drag that over onto there. And you see this just drops in a text area. Nothing particularly unexpected about that. What we're interested in though is the three icons on the top right hand side of that new section. We want the edit option. This is where we can go through and configure all the different things that we need. So what is this text area going to be called? Well, we can label it first of all. So we're going to say we want this to be our card message. So we're going to simply drop that in there, say what we want to call it. The placeholder is basically what you want to insert into this, in this example, the text area. So you may want to give a prompt of the information because the label might be quite, you know, non-descriptive. You can drop something in there and that'll be replaced as soon as someone starts typing anything in. You've then got form control, which is the class that's been applied to this. So if we want to, we can target this and we can do various different things through CSS and so on. The name, the value, the maximum length and the rows. So it's entirely up to you how you configure that. I'm gonna leave everything as it is. We're gonna say we want this to be required. So we've created our first form. We've assigned that to bouquets and attributes and sympathy, and we've called this card message. So let's just publish that. Once we've done that, we're gonna jump over and take a look at how this is now integrated into WooCommerce. Jumping back onto our demo product, you can see at the moment, everything is as it was originally. Let's just refresh this page. So once we refreshed it, we should now see our new option being included. And there you go, there's our card message. It's been marked as being something that has to be filled out. Now this is just the basics. And the good thing about this is we're not limited to only being included like this. Now we're using Ocean WP as the theme in this particular example. Let's just jump back over to our shop page. Only I currently have one product in there, but one of the things you can have with Ocean WP is you can have a quick view. So if we come over, you can see we've got quick view. If we click on there, that'll open up the quick view preview, and you can see that that new input information is available inside there. So this will be on any area that you can access any product information inside your WooCommerce store. Not just that, we've also got the option then that when this is selected and we go through and input some information in there, this will be included in both the actual shopping cart, the checkout, the admin section. So everywhere this is required for both yourself and your customer, it will be included. So this is great to know that all that information will be passed over into your order so you know you're not going to miss any of these additional fields worth of information. Okay, so this is the first thing. We've seen how to do that. Let's just jump back into the dashboard. What we're going to do is we're going to edit this and we're going to put in a little message inside the placeholder. So we'll just say something along the lines of insert your special message, etc. So that's going to put that information in there. If we want to rename this, it makes a bit more sense. We could do that if we wanted to as well. And like I say, we can set the rows. So we don't need to have that many rows. We just set that to three. Now we just update that and we just jump back into our demonstration page. And um, we'll just refresh this page. We'll see those changes now being taken to place. So we've got our message in there. We've adjusted everything. So everything is looking pretty cool. So it's very easy to do that. 
Let's just jump back into our dashboard. Let's just say now we need to put in something to do with the delivery date. Or well, we can do that as well. So we're going to come over and we're going to choose a date field and we'll drag and drop that above our card message. And again, you can see we get a preview of what this is going to look like. We can come back up. We can just choose to make alterations to it. So we're going to say if we want to, we can make this optional or required entirely up to us. So we're going to change that from date field and we'll say we're going to have something in there to say it's a delivery date information. So we'll simply drop in our message into there so we can see exactly what we want. Placeholder. We don't need to put anything in there because this is going to be a date and it's already sort of pre-filled that out. But you can see everything else looks pretty good. Everything else is in place like it was before. So we'll update that. And then once we've done that, we'll also put in an extra one, which just says we want to have another text area. We'll drop this one above and we'll say for this one, we're going to say this is special instructions. This is not required because we don't need to have special instructions, but it's useful to put in there. And we can put any placeholder we want in there. And there we go. There's our message. So let's just update that, jump back over to our test page and refresh that. And we'll see now that all of our information is now placed in there. And the nice thing is we get a little date picker we can choose from as well. So we can make sure that anyone that's using this doesn't have to go through the boring process of typing that in. They can simply choose the date that they want. So let's just say we're happy with all that. We'll choose the option that we want. And we'll say we'll have that as it comes. We'll add that to our cart. And let's go and take a look at our cart now. So if we come over and take a look and we say view our cart, you can see this now includes everything we needed. So the delivery date, any special instructions and the card message that we're applying to it. So it's very easy to go through and add this in. And like I say, this will now be included in every step of the way. So every email that goes out, all those kinds of things, the order processing information in the back end, all of that will be included. So you and the end user, the purchaser can see all this information as part of their order. So this is one of the super simple little plugins, completely free, does exactly what its name suggests, what it needs to do for you. So if you're looking for something that allows you to add in additional options into your WooCommerce store, I'd recommend taking a look at this. Like I say, I'll put the link in the description below so you can go and take a look, install it, see what you think of it. Now, if you want to learn how to get more out of WordPress, WooCommerce, and everything to do with building your website, consider clicking on the links you can see on screen right now. They're going to help you get more out of WordPress. As always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. That's perfectly fine. But don't forget to hit that subscribe and that bell notification if you found this useful. As always, my name has been Paul C. This has been WP Tuts. And until next time, take care.